What is going on everybody? Today we are going to do an Eat Like a Man. For today's Eat Like a Man, we're going to do veggie burgers. You can file this one under, John's doing this so you don't have to. Let's get started. For the patties, well, that's what the patties look like. On the right, that is an actual veggie burger from Bubba. I do enjoy a Bubba burger from time to time. On this side is a meatless gourmet burger from Corn. I think Q U R and Corn. Don't know how you say it. Now, depending on your particular bent on how vegan or vegetarian you are. This one's not gonna be vegan or vegetarian, I guess. I don't know, no clue, I'm not either. It's got egg white in it. This one has got real stuff in it. And that also, depending on how bent you are, this one here has got a pretty good list of unpronounceitate in it, whereas the Bubba Burger does not. But I'm going to throw them on my grill, which is hotting up right now. Cook them about four minutes per side. Not quite hot enough. Then I'm going to slap them on some buns and I'm going to show you what I put on them to make them eat like a man veggie burger. Here we go. I am quickly losing light, so I'm going to go ahead and do this. Listen for the sizzle, no sizzle. And for the sizzle, no sizzle. That means one of two things. Either the grill's not quite hot enough, or there's no fat in these, which we already know there's no fat in these. This isn't a lecture video. This isn't me trying to tell you how to think, or what to think, or who to believe, what research paper is right, and which one is less right. But I personally feel, as an American, I consume too much red meat, and per capita Americans, compared to the rest of the world, eat a heck of a lot more red meat than anybody else and my personal feeling is I should probably knock down on that a little bit doesn't mean I'm gonna stop eating steaks I'm just gonna probably stop eating steak three days a week I don't eat a lot of burgers but I do consume a lot of red meat and red meat beef that consumes a lot of natural resource both to and pain and pain there he is, same, same, yeah, he's way up there. Beef to grow, process, ship, especially the stuff that comes from overseas, takes up a lot of resources to do. And it's also not uh, super healthy for one to consume quite that much. So that is what I'm attempting to do here, is find for myself a viable meat alternative where I'm not just eating beans and other stuff in vast quantities. I want to find something that can trick my brain into saying, yeah, hey, that's a burger. Or, hey, this protein substitute in your chili or stew, that is pretty darn close to meat. It's convincing. So that's what I'm looking to do. It's not a lecture. I'm not telling you what to believe. I'm not arguing. I'm not saying this is vegan or vegetarian, but... This is just me trying something out so you don't have to. Still with the no sizzle. Hmm. Since apparently I don't have quite enough heat here, I'm going to go ahead and put my hamburger bun on. And I picked up these French hamburger buns from the Publix. Not sure what makes them French. Maybe, perhaps, just maybe, they're made out of French bread dough. Which would make sense. They're very light, very airy. They do have kind of a French bread taste. I kind of like them. I mean, catch them on sale, they're no more or less expensive than, other than the cheap generic hamburger buns you get at the, uh, down the bakery aisle. I always get stuff on sale. I like them, so it's worth a few extra pennies here and there. Still no sizzle, man. Maybe it's got no meat, maybe it's got no meat in them, them there patties, I don't know. All right, I've gone for my first flip. Right off the bat, you notice, this corn has 
fake little grilly marks in it. And the bubble well, veggie burger does not. Time to flip these guys a little bit too. I think I needed more briquettes. I'm losing light really, really quickly. It's gone down behind the trees. Oh well. I went ahead and put my cheese on. I'm using provolone. That's what I had. I am going to go ahead and sauce up my burger like I would any other burger. I need two hands for this. Like I was saying, I'm going to sauce up my burger like I would any other burger. And for that, that means mayonnaise. Then I'm going to put, I know it's already veggie. I'm going to put spinach on. Ah, to heck with it. Spinach, spinach, spinach. It's not sticking. How come spinach leaves are so good, but they're so dang small? And more spinach. And more spinach. Good enough. Slice of tomato. Cheese is going melted-y. Ish. The Bubba Burger on the right, I believe that's where we started with it. <clears throat> and this corn on the left. And then to top it off, bacon. What? It's an eat like a man veggie burger. What did you expect? There's the finished product. Bubba. Corn. Doesn't look too bad. Kind of nervous about trying them. One thing for it. Take a bite. Going with the Bubba burger first because I know the Bubba burgers. First off, it went to mush when I bit it. Not a plus, it doesn't taste revolting. I would not get it again though. Oof. I need a palate cleanser, I don't have one. Fortunately, it's not really gross. Let's try the corn burger. Corn, yeah, I don't know. All right, here goes nothing. This is the paste in, uh, it's basically wheat paste, soy paste, flour made into a patty with a bunch of other stuff. Let's give it a go. That's much better. It actually held together. I stayed a patty when I bit it. it. Tastes a heck of a lot better too. It's not convincing as a hamburger. Flavor's pretty good. Texture not so much. I mean the texture's not bad, it's just not the texture of meat like you would expect. At least it didn't turn to mush like it, the Bubba Burger did. This may have been a test. <laughs> Still my dinner, so I'm gonna go stuff this in my face hole. Thanks for watching. You guys have a good one.